Well, um, of course, under our constitution, the Queen is our head of state. Every member of the armed forces takes their oath of allegiance to Queen Elizabeth II, her heirs and successors. And that's a pretty serious thing to do when you join the forces. And it is that, um, I think, uh, role as head of state and thereby requiring the loyalty of the armed forces of our country. That perhaps is, to me, her, her most important uh, role as it's been in my life. But, but the important point is that um, it is the monarch who encapsulates and personalizes that loyalty to the nation as a whole. And she represents not this government or that government on a party basis, they come and they go. But she represents, and my goodness, she in particular does, the continuity uh, of that head of state function. But um, it's not widely known, but just as the Prime Minister has his weekly audience with the monarch, each of the single service heads also, about twice a year, has a private audience uh, with the Queen. Um, and there's just two of you in the room. Um, but um, she's always very wise. And let's, let's face it, she's been doing it for quite a long time. And um, her depth of knowledge is, is almost limitless, it seems. What, uh, what does come over uh, is her sense of humor, which is um, uh, always there. And um, uh, sometimes a little mischievous even but uh, quite dry, <laughs> but it's there. And don't forget, her husband, once, once a naval officer, I think all of her children are uh, involved in one way or another. Uh, she herself, of course, as a, as a young woman, uh, towards the end of the Second World War, was in uniform. Um, so that personal involvement, not only the Queen, but the royal family as a whole, um, it pervades the armed forces. And I can, again, just remember as a boy that extraordinary statement she made um, on coming to the throne that um, I think the words are roughly, um, whether my life be long or short, I dedicate it to the service of my people. And I think she has maintained that promise through all these decades since, through thick and thin, good times and less good. And that sense of contract with the nation, which she made very publicly, she has upheld that contract um, in a way which I think has brought great admiration for uh, always being there, always doing her duty, and as I say, personalizing the nation as a whole.